Alright, this is part two. Zara. Yeah. Yeah. Some sir. Yeah, this one's scary, man. You're looking at something very scary. Obviously. This is part two, by the way. <clears throat> yeah. I don't want Peter or Mel filming the, the volume simultaneously. No, we film it. Peter, I don't want you doing what you did for Lord of the Rings. Why not, Ivan? Because the actors can lose momentum with their acting. I'm like, you really want me to prep for the agony of the war before the war while I'm filming Volume 2? No, man. Have, film Volume 2 first. Ivan, can we film some stuff in Volume 2 while we're filming volume, 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 volume 1? Okay, you can do, like, I don't mind you filming a little bit. I don't mind us filming Volume 1 and a little bit of stuff in Volume 2, maybe, a little bit. But don't, don't go overboard whereby you're filming... All of Volume 2, why you film Volume 1. Don't do that. Like, film most of Volume 1 first. If you want to film a few scenes of Volume 2, we can do that, obviously. Obviously, but don't be go over like a different Lord of the Rings, so I'm saying. But for Volume 3, I don't want you touching that until we were done Volume 1 and 2. Volume 2, we can film some of the stuff while we're filming Volume 1, but Volume 3, don't touch that. Wait until we're done Volume 1 and 2. I have the actors prepped mentally for those who are meetings. Tell me that the way he knows. Because if you do stuff simultaneously, you get production done faster, obviously. So we can film a, a bit of Volume 2. But for Volume 3, don't touch it, Peter. Wait until we're done Volume 1 and 2, or Mel. And we're done. We can film Volume 3. So I'm sorry. That way everyone's prepped for the demonic beings. Because that's when all those guys meet the demonic, the demonic beings. The bats and the wolves. The demonic characters. Volume 2, they meet the demonic characters too, but not as... Volume 3 is where you have the war and the big climaxes and everything. That's when you meet the demonic bats and you meet the demonic wolves in the movie. So, Sarah? I know what I'm doing. Yeah. It's only be an hour video, guys. I don't feel like making a full video. And after this, I'll take my shower and I will get my beer and smokes. <coughs> I might clean the basement today for ten dollars, but I need the money. I might clean it later on around maybe at five thirty six. I'll clean up, clean the basement.
take my walk again tonight. And then tomorrow, uh, uh, yeah. And then Thursday, I get paid my, I don't know, $680, $700. I'll put maybe $300 in my savings, and the rest will be will be blown. <laughs> so I have to buy Christmas gifts. I'm buying food for, 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 for Christmas. I'm going to make dinner for Christmas this year. I'm not making all of dinner, but I'm, I have my own recipe. I'm gonna I'm gonna make dinner, some dinner for for, for, <coughs> for Christmas this year. Yeah, so I have family coming over, right? Yeah. Will you make Christmas for dinner when you're with VJ? Probably not. <coughs> I'll just hire a chef to do it for me. <coughs> I'm not that great of a cook, man. I'm not bad. Some of the food I make is really, really good, but I'm not the best cook, right? That's why I'm probably going to end up hiring a, uh, a chef to help me out with that. Hey, VJ, for Christmas, we can hire a chef to make the food, to make the food, obviously. We have people come over. Um, sometimes, I might perhaps, sometimes I might perhaps invite the seven, uh, the seven team to my condo. We can have dinner, Christmas dinner at my condo. Sometimes the 17 might invite me and we just to their house for dinner, right? Yeah. But for, for, for Christmas, most likely I'm going to go on a vacation for Christmas. Me and Vijay, we open our gifts. We, we, we eat a good dinner and we, we take a two-week vacation. I want to do a two-week vacation for, for Christmas, obviously, during the holidays. We celebrate Christmas and we, we, we do a two-week two vacation or something like that. We buy ourselves gifts, something like that, yeah. Because the 17 are going to want to just spend Christmas with their families, obviously, right? But sometimes they might invite me and her over and that kind of stuff. We, we might invite them, obviously. But, like, you know what I'm saying? For New Year's, I'll almost like you have a party. Sometimes I'll have a party at my condo. Sometimes I'll just travel to another country and I party out with VJ for New Year's. So, Sarah. VJ, Ivan, you want to take a vacation? Yeah, during the Christmas two week, two week, the, the two weeks off, whatever it is, I want to take a vacation with you. We leave Vancouver, we travel to, to, to another country, we stay here for two weeks. And we, we, sell, we can celebrate Christmas in that country or celebrate Christmas at home. Sometimes it just depends on the year. That's what I want to do, obviously. Is there? I'm sidetracking here. That's why Peter Jackson with this will be hyped for my movie, yeah. Like, Peter, are you more excited for my movie or Lord of the Rings? I think your movie, man. Like, are you kidding me, man? Like, you and the movie, you and your wife in the movie? Fuck, that's fucking exciting to watch. Like, you're the, you're, play, you're playing the prince? That's fucking cool, Ivan. And this is, this 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 movie is a better story than Lord of the Rings, Ivan, yeah. Ivan, your book's much more easier to follow than Lord of the Rings. Like, all your scenes that can, tr can translate well on screen, yeah. <coughs> yeah, Ivan, you're... Your book is much more easier to follow than Lord of the Rings, man. Lord of the Rings is a drag to follow, yeah. Tolkien has so many things going on, you have to cut out like 80% of what's, what's in the book, yeah. Obviously. Lord of the Rings, Tolkien has so much going on every page. It, 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 it had Peter Jackson followed every word, word follow the book word to word, it'd be like a nine, a nine movie series. I'm not kidding around, man. If you follow Lord of the Rings word to word, it's like you're looking at like an eight, nine movie series. Something fucking long. Like nine movies, bro. Because you have two books per, 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 per book, right? Yeah. It'd be six to nine movies. If you follow maybe 60% of each book, you're looking at six, six movies. Lord of the Rings is actually meant to be six movies. Because you have book one, book two, book three, book four, book five, book six. Obviously, but the new line said three movies. That's why Peter made three movies, but he had to cut out a lot of shit that's in the book, man. He cut out, yeah, Ivan. I cut out a lot of, yeah, Peter, you cut out a lot of things in the book, man. Yeah, Ivan, I had no choice, man. We couldn't cram it all in the three movies. Ivan, if you, if you follow what it means word to word, you're looking at like a nine book, a nine movie series. Yeah, like a nine movie series. It ain't fucking long. 
something long, man. Eight movies, seven, eight, nine movies, man. Something long. That's why they have to cut it, obviously. Is that right? Yeah. Whereas my book is not as long as Wolverine. It's only like a 700-page book. 750-page book. And you can actually follow my book word to word. I won't follow it word to word. I'm going to cut out a few things. I don't know. Cut out maybe 30%, 25% of what's in the book, obviously. But my book is much easier to follow. Like, to follow the drive. Your book is so easy, so, it's so easy to follow, man. It's not convoluted and all over the place like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is crazy. Two pages, you have the hop, the hop is camping, for two, camping, walking for two miles. They sleep, they sleep. Next day, they meet another guy. They're there for like a week. It's crazy. You can't, you can't cram it all in, 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 in a three-hour movie. You can't do it. That's why Peter Hyman comes with a cut out a lot of things in the book, obviously. I don't want him doing that for my movie. I'm like, Peter, I don't want you cutting out a lot of things like you did for Lord of the Rings, man. You can cut out a few things. I don't like cutting out 25% of what's in the book, but don't cut out like 80% of what's in the book here and, and only follow 20%. Don't do that. Follow the story, though, we're going to get stories in Sarah. Dialogue, we make sure it's a similar, make sure we're, it's, it's, it's a similar to the book. There's nothing wrong with changing a few things in the dialogue, obviously. But make sure it's, 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 it's similar to the book. But you don't want to piss off the fans. There's nothing worse than making a movie that's totally different from the book, man. The fans are like, what the fuck? This is nothing like the book. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Follow the story, Peter, but we can change a good 25% of what's in the book. What's in the book? What's in the, what's in the book? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah I mean, for your book, it's easier. I, you don't have to worry about me cutting out a bunch of your book because your book is easier to follow, Ivan. Mean. It's not all over the place like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is crazy. Whereas my book is actually easier to follow. It's an easier book to follow, some Sarah. It's an easier book to follow, obviously. Tell Peter that or Mel Gibson if, when they co-write your script. Mel, please don't cut out a bunch of stuff in my book. They say, oh, don't worry about it. I won't cut out a bunch of stuff in your book. You can cut out maybe 25% of what's in your book, Ivan. Your book is much easier to follow. Yeah, it's easier to follow, obviously. I might go get a coffee in two minutes. Yeah, hence why, uh, what you have to tell Peter that, obviously. Sarah. Will Peter be exhausted or Mel? Yeah, they'll be exhausted, but I don't pay you a lot of money to slack off. You have to work hard. You know what I'm saying? You can tell the work the work is a bit harder for Peter than, than it was for him in Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, he was a young guy. He was only like 38 when he he was like 39 when he filmed Lord of the Rings, four years old, Peter. And now he's like 66, 67, 68. He's pushing 70. He's older. Ivan, yeah, I'm not as you might tell me, I, I'm not as young as I was in Lord of the Rings, man. In Lord of the Rings, I was a young dude. I was only like 39 years old. The work is a bit tougher on my body, but that's why I recommend you work out. Take walks, maybe take a swim, you know what I'm saying? That way you work out, man. Because you're looking at like a year's worth of filming. He'll be fine, though. He'll be fine, obviously. He'll be fine. I can have it. I mean, Peter, if you need a chair, I can have a chair for you if you want. No, Ivan, like, Ivan, like, Ivan, relax. I'm only 67 years old. I'm still fine, yeah. Since seven years old, you're old, but you're still fine, obviously. <coughs> it's only when you hit like eighty, you're done. <coughs> you're done, obviously. Yeah. But it'll work hard. Mel will work hard for him. Mel, the work will be hard for him too, because Mel being his mid seventies when he's doing this, he's like 74, 75. 
the work might be a bit tougher on his body, but he'll still be fine on his feet. What's the most stressing out of the out of the years? Probably production. I heard Peter say in an interview, yeah, he hates production. He goes, production is when you when you really have to put on your your, your director hat. And you have to, you're constantly like directing a movie. You you constantly have to picture all the scenes in your mind of what you wrote in your script. When you direct the actors, it's, it can be mentally uh, fatigue. It can mentally drain your energy. It can also physically drain you, especially mentally because you have to constantly picture scenes in your mind. Of what you wrote down in your in your brain. That's why Peter, to 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 to, to, to take the stress off of you, take your notes. I know what I'm doing. So that way, when you take your notes, you don't have to constantly picture the scenes in your mind. You just look at your notes, and the notes help you what you want to what you're visualizing. Yeah, I'm not smart. Yes, you take your notes. You won't be as mentally fatigued. You feel me? But if you don't take notes, you're gonna have to constantly picture scenes in your mind. And after six months, it can drain you mentally. You're tired. You're mentally tired. You're also physically tired. Sarah, you take your notes, you now have ideas of what you want your scenes to, 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 to be, to, to look like, and you're not as tired mentally. Obviously, so Sarah, because I'm paying him his, his 65 million, obviously, his 65 million dollars, Peter will work hard for me. So Sarah, he'll work really hard for me, so Sarah. He'll work hard. He's getting paid, like his, I don't know, 2 million, 1.8 million dollar check every two weeks. He's getting paid, man. He'll work hard. He knows he's going to get his 10 of Golden Balls. He knows he's going to get that massive $425 million if he rolls in the movie. $500 million in his own money. He knows he's going to get his $140 million in merch. He'll work hard. So, Sarah? He'll work hard, Peter. Very hard. You're going to see him in his own directing. Look, that motor is helping him out. He works hard, too. Because he knows he's going to get his 13, 14, 15 million royalties. That motor will work hard, too, obviously. So, Sarah? Yeah, Mel will work hard too. They both will work hard. Whoever I choose. Is there? Both will work hard, obviously. Both will work hard. Both will work hard, so Sarah. Both will work hard, obviously. Both will work hard. Sarah. Both will work hard. Sam Peter's like, right, this movie's gonna have a crazy roll by buzz. Yeah, man, crazy roll by buzz, man. I tell him how much money I'm putting towards all the sections, he's all shocked. <laughs> Alright, you're putting that much money towards visual effects, your cameras, you're renting IMAX cameras, Ivan. Yeah, 4K I'm I'm gonna put 4K technology in the cameras. <laughs> They have 4K technology for cameras now, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're, because you're releasing it on 4K Blu-ray, we should put 4K, yeah, put 4K technology into the IMAX camera. We can do it. Is it possible we can do 4K technology on the IMAX camera? Yeah, I wouldn't do that for you. you. You get an amazing cinematography, yeah. Beautiful, beautifully shot footage. Yeah. You're putting all that money towards visual effects, cameras, equipment for the cameras, costumes, armored weapons, machines for the masks. The, the, you're, you're buying this food from the farms. Like, holy shit. You're renting that hotel, Ivan? Yeah. Yeah, the hotel costs too. Yeah, the hotel, uh, Red Carpet and, 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 and Two Day Party is also a big cost on the budget too, by the way. I forgot, about, I forgot to mention that. All those main things, like the hotel party, the visual effects, equipment for the cameras, cautious armor weapons, extras, set building. All that, all that is like the, the big cost on the budget. And the hotel stays and limo services. 
And everything else after that is cheap. It's maybe a few million bucks to a couple hundred thousand dollars. Maybe two million, two point five, one point five, five hundred k, eight hundred k. Everything else is cheap after that. Some center. And salaries. The salaries will be drained. The salary budget will be drained once I sign on with crewmen and actors. It'll be drained. Some center. I might have maybe twenty million, fifteen million over the budget once I pay everyone. Here's like, I've been. Your whole four hundred million dollar budget for salary is all drained, Ivan. Yeah, because I pay all the crew one fifty k. It's all drained, obviously. And uh, the actors, I pay them like the millions. They they, they drained like eight hundred eighty million dollars of my budget because <laughs> the money went to them, obviously. And you also have my seventeen, the, the, the fifty million going towards paying them. The whole thing's drained. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> you got your best, but I don't do it. You pay them more money to work harder for you. You pay the Hollywood actors your millions and the crewmen their 150k, they're gonna work hard for you. They're gonna work really hard. They're not gonna quit on you, Peter or Mel. They're gonna work hard. You know, I even so yeah, according to the book, some of your lying guys quit on you, Wolverine, because they got shitty money and they made their 25-30k. You pay them 25-30k, they're not gonna work as hard for you, man. Because they're getting shitty money. Minimum it's like minimum wage, shitty shitty money, yeah. They won't work as hard. Sarah. They won't work as hard, yeah. They won't work as hard. Sarah. They will not work as hard. Yeah, man. That's why what? That's why you what? You pay them their money, obviously. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, obviously. That's really an amazing movie. Obviously. Will Peter tell you you're crazy for paying the actors this kind of money? Yeah, he will. Ivan, like, okay, Ivan, you can pay, Ivan, like, what they're, what you're paying them for their basis enough, you don't have to give them royalties, Ivan. And VG's like, Ivan, you have a point. Like, four million for a Bon Jovi is good enough. You don't have to give him all these. But yeah, you're right. But I mean, for Zayas, it's a special story. I want everyone to share in the wealth of what they work for. I want these actors to destroy the role. I want amazing, amazing performance from them. That's why I want to pay them the money. Ivan, like, four million for a Bon Jovi is enough. You don't have to give him all these. Just give that money to me. I'm like, Peter, I'm not giving any more money to you, man. You're fucking greedy. I'm already, I'm already paying you enough money, man. You greedy pig. You might try and get the royalties. I mean, give that the royalties to me, Ivan. I'm like, no, Peter, I'm not giving you the royalties. You're already giving you enough of the royalties. I, I want more. I'm like, I'm paying you enough, man. I'm not giving you more money, man. You're fucking greedy, obviously. No. If he gets the 850 million deal, he won't, he won't try to get the royalties because he knows he signed his billion plus deal. But if he gets $4 million, he might try and get the royalties because he wants a bit more money. He's greedy, obviously. He's a greedy pig. <coughs> he wants a bigger chunk of the pie. To the box office, Peter. He's a greedy pig, obviously. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm happy with seven fifty million dollars. That's four hundred dollars in my bank. This is more than my people with the ratings. Yeah, I was like, I fuck New Line, fuck Bob J, fuck fuck Michael, and they fucking ripped me off. They owed me money. They gave me a shitty budget. I was dirty to say they should. They fed me shitty for free. I'm gonna work much harder for you. Yeah, he works as hard. He works much harder for me than he did Bob Shane and Michael Lynn, obviously. Yeah, for Lord of the Rings. Yeah. From Sarah. Yeah, Mel Gibson's hard. You get that news. Mel Gibson's a chosen director. Peter Jackson's hard. You get that news. Peter Jackson's a chosen director. Whoever I choose, yeah. You get the news of this guy. So it's news always going crazy, obviously. Oh my god, Peter's directing the movie. Mel's directing the movie, yeah. You signed the cast second year. Obviously. You signed the cast second year, obviously. And uh, I might do a thing. The day the actors get signed, I'll, I'll have my interviews there. They do a quick, like, five-minute interview with the actor, with each of the actors. Yeah. Once the actors are signed, hey, guys, come over here. The interviews are, the, the interviews are going to interview you. Uh, and your interview will get featured on the Sky Source News website. Like a, like a, a, a conference call, a written interview, yeah. And then later, and later on, you get the news. Hey, I want you, I want you writing down the, the, the casting announcement news. All the all the main stars have been signed for the movie. Every actor signed has to be. You have to have a cast announcement. You get the cast announcement. Holy shit! John Boyega is playing Tassatonius. You know what I'm saying Avondra is playing Papyri. Jima Honsu is playing Cassius. You know what I'm saying Don Cheadle or Vigor are playing Marimis. You get that casting announcement. These are all you know. Holy shit. That's when all the Hollywood actors are gonna be like, "Yo, congrats, man!" You know, I'm saying, "Hey, man, can you give the people a good word about you?" I'm like, "Yeah, I will, man." They don't give words. It's actually funny. I'm saying, "Yeah, you could interview them." No, you don't have to interview them. Interview them later. The actors are tired. After you sign them, just take them out to a nice dinner at Boston Pizza, and like a month later, they fly in to do the the, the, the ad shoot. And then when they do the ad shoot, that's when you interview them. Do like a quick five minute interview with them. Four minute because you don't want to put stress on your on your on your typewriter. Do a quick like three four minute interview for each star, and you write it you write it down on 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 on, on. you write the whole interview down on on the Sky Source News website, and the magazine ashes feature like Variety, Deadline, yeah, Hollywood Reporter, yeah. I'm gonna be doing. Obviously, when Peter gets signed or Mel, they do and they do your ash. They also you also interview them. You interview Fran. You interview uh, Barry Osborne, get them all tour, you interview all those guys. The seven team, I want them to interview, and you interview me and VJ. First year, you focus on me, VJ, seven team, Peter, and the assistant producers. Second year, you focus on me, VJ, Peter, or Mel, and, and, and get them all tour, maybe, and the stars, the main, like, 12 stars. You don't have to interview the other, the minor, the other, all the actors. You interview the main, like, 12 stars who have a bunch of scenes in the movie. The other ones who are more minor, you don't have to interview them. Put their name on the announcement, but you don't have to interview them because they're not my main, my main stars. Desire. Yeah. They have to be excited. Yeah, they have to be excited, man. Like second year, they're full of the Oh my god, I just can't wait so much. I can't wait for this movie. Yeah. You know, then they know I'm gonna I'm gonna sign them to a big contract too. They know how much money I'm gonna pay them, obviously. That's why I don't pay up Andre five hundred K Peter. He'll be pissed off. Pay him like two point five to four million dollars. Unless Peter's cheap, but most likely pay him three point five. Like Peter's cheap, obviously. If I I'll pay him three point five. Peter, pay him three point five if you want. That's that's good enough. You know what I'm saying? Give him five million dollars and going through the box office. Sarah. And sign him to a million five. Don't go any higher than a million five for the game. If agents want more for the game, don't pay him more than that. Pay him one point five million dollars for the game. Avon Jones, you want to be a part of the game? Sure, I'd love to be a part of the game. Okay, we'll pay you a million five for this. Any royalties for the game? No, you're not getting any squad royalties. You just get your million for your million. You get your one point five one point five million. And the agent's taking a piece of that too, by the way, right? Yeah. Because Avon Jose is Canadian, he gets his full Canadian money. He's lucky. Him. Him and Peter, Fran, Mary Osborne, and, and, and Carl Urban are lucky because they live in, in New Zealand. They're even luckier than Vaughn Jersey because, because New Zealand money is not worth as much as Canadian money. 
as those actors are making way more, more, way more money than the others, they're making more money. Obviously. I'm sorry. But a million five after taxes is like what? Like 800k after taxes are on there? 900 grand after taxes are on there? Yeah. 1.5 million after taxes is like a hundred, is like nine hundred thousand dollars. So if Bon Jovi's walking away with like a eight hundred, like twenty thousand dollar check after taxes for the game after his agent, his agent's taking good maybe I don't know, ninety grand, ten percent, right? Ninety grand of his money, and he he makes like eight hundred, ten thousand around there after taxes of Bon Jovi for the game. That's good pager from. That excludes that excludes the. Uh, the millions he's making off the movie and the, and the, and the, and the merch and the, uh, and, 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 and the box office royalties. Yeah. He struck it rich. Avon Dojo. I can make a movie for you guys. I might as well, right? Show my cover.